What's going on everybody? Jerry here with 3D HP. Today we're talking about filament. It's from TH3D and we're going to get into it right after this. Welcome back everybody. Tor from TH3D sent me out some of their amazing filament. I've got uh, their Easy Choice and then I've got their Spaghetti filament. They sent me out this kind of a green sparkly silk that I have here. And yes, I've already used it up. I'm filming the beginning of my video at the end of my video pretty much. Kind of like future me going to go back in time here in a minute. And then I have some kind of a bronze gold which is called the... I can't pronounce the name. Statuette. I think I'll put it right here on the screen. This particular filament right here, which looks amazing. We'll get a close up on the camera in just a second. And this other one is called a Star Green. And I printed out some really cool stuff with it. Now I'd like you to check out these really fast time lapses and then we'll get into putting everything together. Here's a close up of the two different colors. Very pretty. That camera will focus on it. Looks amazing. Okay, here we are at TH3DStudio.com and we're looking at filament. They've got the filament dryers from Polymaker here when they get back in stock. Um, they have all kinds, you know, literally have tons and tons of different types of filament here. We have kind of scroll down through here. They have a lot of different types, colors, brands. They sell uh, printer parts. If you need some parts for your printer, you need parts for your bamboo printers. They sell many, many different things. They've got merch, hats, t-shirts, and such. But I'm just going to do a quick scroll down here to kind of give you a taste of what they got going on. And if you use my code, which will be down below in the description, you get 5% off your total order. It's an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage off everything you buy which I in turn over time will go get buy filament with it but they do have lots of filament and they're always updating their website, they're always adding new products and things let's get back to the video
Well, I've got all the supports off. I've got the ball and the cue ball put together. I broke a couple of the clips, so I had to go reprint them. That's primarily because it's probably made out of silk material, I'm assuming. But I used a pair of pliers. Uh, in the video from the man that done these, which I'll list his name here on the screen, where you can find him out over on Thangs, he was pressing them in by hand. I found it too difficult to press in those little H-shaped clips by hand, so I used a pair of pliers, as you see in the time lapse. But, yeah, um kind of concerned about the cube coming apart, but you can kind of twist it and rotate it and change shapes and roll it all the way around, kind of like a Rubik's Cube, back into its same format. And then on the ball, same thing, it's got the four big, four of the big and four of the small um, balls there. You kind of roll it around change its shape, kind of looks like a flower, sort of. You can spin it, roll it back into a ball. It's pretty cool. I was on Instagram a few days ago, I was just surfing Instagram, you know, and I seen this pull up, I was like, wow, that's cool. So I went over to Thangs, to the man's site on Thangs, and downloaded it, and here it is. But yeah, it came out really nice. The green is a very pretty filament. The little scooper here for my doggies will work out really good. I won't have to use a coffee cup. So that's pretty nice. That scoop will come out really nice. It'll look good. And then I've got this base here. It's skulls. It's a planner. It's supposed to be a planner. Like I say, it's got skulls all the way around it. Came out beautiful. I'm simply going to use it to put pencils or whatever in. That came out really nice. The pillow for your phone to keep your phone comfy. Looks like a real pillow. Very nice. Had no problems. Didn't use any supports on this whatsoever. I'll take my phone here in the picture at the end and you'll see where a phone's sitting in it, but yeah, that's really cool. And then the gamer headphone stand. Well that, like I mentioned, I had to size it down two or three percent, but got all the supports off of it. The stand that I printed out separately did work out okay, it pressed in okay. Came out really nice. And I got my gamer headset here. It has a slot right here in the head where it's been cut away in the hairline where you can put your uh, headphones at. Sits right down in there. Came out really good. And you know I was thinking something. If you guys remember a video I did a couple years ago where I had the skull and I got the eyeballs and I glued into it with hot glue. Well I found a couple more that I had here. You can pick these up on Amazon. They're half shells. The little eyeballs. So I took a couple supports of the green supports that came off of this that I threw away. I cut them down. Well, I'm going to glue supports in its eyes and put these eyeballs in there to see what it looks like. And you'll see it here at the end of the video. But yeah, if you guys like the, you know, check out th3d.com or th3dstudio.com. They're based in the, here in the U.S. and they got tons of filament. They got supplies. They got uh, easy ABLs. They got filament runout sensors. They've got all kinds of parts for different types of printers. Um, you know. Filament. What else? I don't know. Just a little bit of anything and everything. I'm kind of having a brain fart at the moment. But they got a lot of stuff on their website. Please go check them out. I like to say, if you use my code, you get 5% off your total order. Each and every time you order from them, it'll save you a little bit of money and it helps out my channel also. But yeah, I'll have all the links to all this great stuff down below in the description where you can find it out. You know, print all the things, have lots of fun. And uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe which is free to do so on YouTube. I'm trying to grow my channel, as you should know. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whatever you think you need to do. Any interaction on YouTube helps to grow my channel. So, leaving a comment down below, I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, thank you to all my channel members. I'll have them listed here on the screen. And, yeah, I don't know really what else to say, but I'm just going to hot... Let me hot glue these eyeballs real quick. And right before I end the video, you'll get to see that out. So... I'll bring in a close-up of the camera and I'll show before and after. But I just want to wish everybody a, have a great day, have a great weekend. And until next time, happy printing. Later.